Hey guys, it's Brendan Borman back for their 270 video. Today I've chosen to do a California multiplayer 270 match. It's a five player match featuring some of the loungers. If you'd like to participate in a future video, I encourage you to subscribe to the channel, leave a like or a comment on this video, or message me inside the 270 lounge. But all players have agreed to do a turn one clash in the state of California. And so the game starts now on turn number two with everyone having 300,000. We've got Raymond Barroy and Kevin McCarthy. We've got Matthew Escueda playing as Arnold Schwarzenegger. I'm playing as Devin Nunez. And we have Hasib Muhammad, who is playing as Kamala Harris. And then finally, Richard Nixon, the only president to ever be elected from the state of California, is none other than Chase Moss. So thank you to these four guys for playing. And let's see how this goes. Now, right off the bat, I'm anticipating either a clash in New York or, um, you know, putting some pressure on Kamala, who's the only Democrat in the game. So I did not want to give her or Hasib in this case a big advantage. I could go right away for Town and Gown, but I do notice that nobody went for big conservative. I hope that I can kind of sneak by, but I'm only going to do one pip just in case someone does two pips or if we clash, I will move on. But we do get big conservative um, here on turn number three, uncontested to the first pip. So I'll be able to get that 40% bonus, which should net me $70,000 per turn. No bonuses are awarded on turn number three. But it looks like Nixon did put a big stamp into that swing state bonus. We've got um, Florida being contested. And it looks like that Kevin McCarthy and Kamala Harris are playing very conservatively. So we'll see how this shakes out. But we have a three-pip turn um, in California going to Kamala. And then a big spin. She is stretching out across the high-tech state. So it looks like that Kevin McCarthy is going to build out of Texas. And it looks like Hasib is going to use Kamala out of California. Youth vote goes over to Arnold Schwarzenegger, pairing that with Gun Lobby just under uh, we've got almost $60,000 per turn. We're going to have $70,000 per turn. So now that we have Massachusetts in Nebraska, which is the most economical way to get the town and gown bonus, I'm going to go ahead and secure that. Town and gown in this scenario is not the best uh, bonus for me to kind of build out of, but I'm going to use that to kind of spread out to the high-tech states, kind of play more of a Democratic game versus a bunch of Republicans. Arnold does defend Florida. There's a big clash in Illinois. McCarthy does get um, Louisiana, so he should be able to um, get that oil and gas bonus here. Yeah, Oklahoma and Texas. So he should get oil and gas, and we're going to have town and gown. Fun fact about uh, California, you think of Los Angeles and all these big uh, these big cities, but the capital of California is actually Sacramento. So it is the convergence of where the Sacramento and the American River. Drop some fun facts throughout the video. Uh, but this is not so fun. Um, I'm kind of locked into this strategy. I'm going to go to war, it looks like, over the high-tech bonus. I could eventually pivot to the Old South and AA if I you know, want to forego that, but Kamala has such a big high tech and I have such a small town and gown, I feel like I just need to make her overspend. Maybe I'll get some help from other players like in Pennsylvania or Maryland or Virginia. But let's open up into Delaware, Connecticut, and Utah, anything else? Crap, I missed my turn. No. Sorry, guys, if you're watching this back, I'm the reason why that took the entire three minutes. But, oh well, at least I'll have a ton of money next turn. Did you guys know that California was initially named the Grizzly Bear State? Unfortunately, as the population rose, um, there was an escalated battle between bear and man, and bears were hunted for sport, leading to their... Um, Extinction. So manufacturing base does go over to McCarthy. Now we have a big $120,000 town and gown sum. I have $663,000 of pure cash. I can use that in a state like a Arizona or a Virginia to very 
economically important states plus the bonuses attached to them. I could also spread out in the Old South, kind of hedge my bets a little bit in AA. Um, I'm not in North Carolina. I think I'm going to keep it that way. I'm going to get in Louisiana. They've been clashing there quite a bit. And do I go for Arizona or Virginia at this point? I think I think I'm going to go to the ninth pip in both Virginia and Arizona. So to avoid the 10 pip clash, I'm going to cross my fingers and hope I get them. Let's see how it works out. Arizona successfully is stolen to the ninth pip. And we'll definitely close it off on the next turn. We do enter Louisiana, and there's a big clash. We do clash in Michigan. We have access to that state. So eyes are now focused on Virginia. Pennsylvania is flip, but not to Hasib. So that will help prevent high tech. But ah, uh, Kamala Harris comes in to the tenth pip and swipes Virginia from under our nose. So that's going to give Hasib. And Kamala Harris, the high-tech bonus without Utah, without Massachusetts. So we have town and gown to prevent those states. I could take um, New Hampshire. Got to go ahead and get into Iowa, though. Okay, so I'm going to go after AA. And without Florida... I now need to decide, do I go for Delaware or Michigan to get $330,000? let us go for Michigan. I actually think that he'll lock Delaware when he sees how close I am. I think I'm just like 10K short. So Colorado's defended. We do get Georgia. Now, unfortunately, we're not going to get the Old South bonus because we don't have any of the classic Old South states, and he does defend Michigan. So, yeah, he didn't even defend Delaware. So if we had gone Delaware on this turn instead of Michigan, we would have $100,000 of African-American bonus on the next turn, which would have been pretty crucial. I could have entered into Illinois. Mm, okay, so Swing States does go over to Arnold. It's going to make it even harder to get Florida. So I could go up in Utah. I think I'm going to do that with my town and gown money. I think I'm going to enter into to go Illinois. I think I have to try to go for Delaware at this point. I'm not facing pressure in any of the African-American states. Yeah, look how close that was. If I had just gone Delaware last turn, I'm going to do it this turn. It's going to leave me $138,000 of pure cash. Here comes the pressure in the south, however, from Hasib. So my African-American bonus may be short-lived. Got defense in Illinois. Mississippi. South Carolina, Tennessee. So it's coming from everywhere. Big old clash. That's very damaging to Nixon's case. So it looks like Nixon might be the first one who was eliminated. But some more fun facts about California. It is the most dense, densely populated state in the United States. Around 40 million people call California home. The peak that is the highest point in the United States is Mount Whitney in California, which is almost 14,500 feet tall. So I do anticipate losing the African-American bonus on this turn. So I'm actually going to go up in Florida, and I'm not going to risk a clash. I'm, I think I'm actually just going to use my African-American. So maybe I just go one pip because I think that if it's me versus Hasib or me versus McCarthy, that's going to be a very important battle later on. And I'm just going to let my town and gown money go, I think. So yeah, so Alabama flips. So we're going to lose AA for sure. We're going to lose uh, AA by a lot, actually. We're going to lose quite a bit of EVs. Michigan is locked by Kamala. So it looks like Kamala is actually going for the Old South bonus. New Hampshire flips away. So 
So that's the end of turn number 10. No bonuses change hands except for I lose AA and Old South goes to Kamala like we thought it was going to happen. California became a state in 1850. It was the 31st state to join the Union. And before that, California was actually an independent country for one month in 1846. Let me know in the comments if you actually knew that and if you have any fun facts about California. All righty, turn number 11. I need to spread out. I'm focusing on some ag states here, not because I want the ag bonus, but no one has the ag bonus. So they're less likely to spin there and, and have a clash. Got the first defense in California. There's a clash in Hawaii and Idaho, so there goes the ag theory. But we are able to get in Illinois before it is closed off by McCarthy. So that will pretty much lock in manufacturing for McCarthy the rest of the match. And we are able to get in Pennsylvania, so that's always good before it closes off. We have $933,000 of pure cash. We still do not have any New York pressure, which I think is single-handedly giving us an advantage in this game. We've got Nixon, who is probably going to be the one who's eliminated. We've got McCarthy, who's in really good shape with a good base down in Texas. We've got Hasib, who is in California with a good base, but... You know, having to defend it a little bit more than us, but in the later stretches of the game, if he's able to survive, he'll have more states locked up and can uh, play a little bit of offense. California is locked by McCarthy. Connecticut flips. So Florida's locked before um, McCarthy and Hasib can get in there, so that's good for us. Massachusetts flips. So does Utah flip, and will we lose Town and Gown? No, because we are going to have several Town and Gown states like New Hampshire. We're going to have um, District of Columbia. We're going to have Arizona. So we are good, but let's go ahead and lock New Hampshire. Let's go ahead and try to flip Utah. And then do I dare go California? That would be tempting to go one past. He he probably doesn't defend it. We do not have a ballot yet. No one is in South Dakota. I think I better live to fight another day. That would be a tragic way to uh, go from maybe being the favorite to win or at least in the top half to being the underdog. So let's enter into, oh, wow, Chase Moss went for it in California and made a big play. So kudos to Chase. That's going to take away the high-tech bonus. Some states are being sealed off in Mississippi and New Hampshire, getting us closer to the 100 EV threshold needed to force a ballot. Utah is closed off, as is Washington. So turn 13's over. There goes the high-tech bonus. There's a ballot. Does Richard Nixon have any shot in avoiding elimination? Probably not. If I'd saved a little bit more money, then maybe Hasib would have thought about not going multiple pips past in California. But I'm going to take Massachusetts and how much else do I want to spend? I'd sure hate to be eliminated with $1.2 million in my pocket. So Let's take one state at least. Let's go ahead and enter into Texas, which gets me down to about a million. And then I could lose New Jersey. Let's go ahead and get Missouri to the fourth pip. So California flips. Idaho flips. Big old clash in Kentucky. That helps. They both passed us, but we're able to hold on to it. We do get Massachusetts successfully and Missouri successfully. So we're going to be A-OK. -okay. So thank you so much to uh, Nixon here and Chase Moss. But he will be the one who's eliminated with 34 EVs.
Okay, so turn number 15, but not before a couple quick facts. California is no stranger to earthquakes. They experience over 100,000 earthquakes a year. Holy cow. It's also home to the most national parks in the country. So if you like that type of uh, lifestyle or that, that kind of scenery, maybe you ought to try out California. But uh, if you're ready to try out California, you got to defend it, Chase Moss. You can't let uh, C take it back the next turn. Kevin McCarthy going to go ahead and lock out Alaska, and we successfully steal Georgia. So a big 16 EVs, and we do close off Massachusetts. So I'm liking our position, but I don't want to really pick someone to go up against yet. If, if Hasib is eliminated, we might inherit California, but actually McCarthy would have the clear advantage having that oil and gas bonus bonus he could use in California. If we were able to somehow eliminate Arnold Schwarzenegger, then we would inherit well, we'd have, we'd, we'd have a good shot at Iowa, Minnesota, South Carolina. Um, he's in South Carolina, so I have to watch out for that steal. Uh, Florida's the big one. Okay, so I've got 1.12 million. We've got 151 EVs. Arnold's got 136. McCarthy's got 136. Hasib is probably going to have to spend big here. Let's go ahead and take Minnesota all the way. Let's go up in Kansas to the fourth and up in Oregon to the fourth. So we're going to save 786000 taking a risk here. Hawaii flips, Idaho flips, Kansas big old clash. So Arnold gets to keep Kansas. Big old clash in Kentucky. We get to keep Kentucky. But main flips, as does Minnesota. So we are in decent shape. However, we just lost New Jersey and Oregon and Rhode Island and South Carolina. Uh-oh. Vermont flipped. Oh, so we tied 121 to 121. Who's eliminated? That's a good sign. Arnold's on the top of the ballot box, and Arnold is eliminated. So thank you, Matthew Esqueda. I'm sorry. I have no idea why you were the one who's eliminated versus me. It's a good question that we do not know the answer to. Let's go ahead and lock Pennsylvania. That'll give me the swing state bonus as long as I keep Iowa or get one of Iowa or um, New Mexico. Let's go ahead and double pip Ohio. I'm going to single pip Wisconsin, and I think I better go ahead and single pip North Carolina to have access. But I'm going to go up to the third pip, of course, in Florida. So African American. Swing states. Those are all going to go to Devin Nunez. As Kevin McCarthy spends no time locking some more EVs in. We do clash in North Carolina. And Pennsylvania is going to go to us. So big flip. Although South Carolina and Tennessee both get flipped away from us. So I think we're still going to have enough for AA. Yes, we do. There's swing states. Old South goes back over. To Kamala. Turn number 18. We're at 192. Let's go ahead and spend quite a bit in North Carolina. Do I want to go up in Ohio or Wisconsin? Do we want a ballot? Do we not want a ballot? I think I want to go up in Ohio. One or two pips at least. Let's do one pip. Still no pressure in Florida, but it's coming. Okay, I like this. Let's go ahead and submit our turn here. 
We're going to save our town and gown, which is disguise how much money we have, plus we don't know where to spend it yet. Okay, there we go. We've got pressure in New York. So we're at 217, two bonuses for Hasib and for Raymond. Let's go ahead and do I go in California? Man, that would be a big risk. Okay, so I need to defend some and attack some. So let's go up. He has 40,000, 80,000. So he'll probably go two pips in South Carolina. So let's go three. Um, defend a little bit of everywhere with our town and gown because I think the New York is a bluff. And then I probably should defend Florida, but I don't want to because I'd fall below 600,000. Let's go ahead. We're going to take a big old risk here. Let's go ahead and I'm choosing to defend Ohio versus North Carolina. I should probably do one pip of each, um, but I'm going to choose Ohio because I think Raymond will probably target me. Um, I could go. I could go this variety and play it safe, or I could not defend Kentucky and just go up in California. Let's do that. Okay, so last second. So we're officially pot committed to California. We will inherit a ton of bonuses if we're able to survive. Ah, oh, North Carolina by a pip. That hurts. We, ah, there you go, South Carolina and a defense in Vermont. All righty, so we did it, 208 EVs. That's going to eliminate Hasib on the ballot. Good game. One of the best players currently in the lounge, Hasib Muhammad. It's down to Raymond Barroy and Brendan Borman, yours truly. I have the African-American, Latino, high-tech, ag, old south, Export, swing, and town and gown bonus, as well as my big conservative national group. So my strategy of having a small core, getting into some big important states like Pennsylvania, Illinois, Michigan, North Carolina, Florida, it has paid off. And because I did not face New York pressure, I was able to kind of capitalize and even make Raymond defend in Texas a little bit. So you know what? It makes no sense to just give him California. So let's go ahead and double pip it. Um, I'll have my swing money. I'll have my AA, Old South money, and my town and gown. I'm going to roll over about $158,000 of pure cash. A lot of Raymond states are actually locked. So he can do a good job on the ballot of putting maximum pressure on me. Um, now, he does have to flip a ton of EVs. He's got well under 270. He's got 191, so you have to flip uh, 79 EVs. So I think he's going to have that manufacturing money. Let's go ahead and lock Ohio and defend heavily in Kentucky, which I bet you he tries to lock that. Um I'm going to go ahead and defend Alabama all the way. Nine EVs, cost per dollar, very important. My high-tech money is kind of irrelevant here. Um, I can go ahead and defend Michigan by a couple pips. Let's go ahead and go for Montana. And this looks pretty good, I think. Let's go ahead and submit it. Good game, guys. Got a defense in Alabama. He does one pit me in Arkansas. Kansas flips without a contest. Michigan, big one, no spend. Okay, he did uh, get me good in Montana, but we did hold off in, oh, man, New Jersey, what are you doing? Okay, he went for Ohio. We were able to steal Oregon. So this is going to be our game, but good game, guys. It was fun to do a California multiplayer with you. Let me know in the comments if you uh, have any fun facts about California or if you're from there. And I really appreciate all of the support from the channel. Until next time, this is Brendan Borman. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll catch you guys in the next 270 video.